Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to show you how to export a section of your website in a template to use either on another part of your website or on another website using uh, the X or Pro theme. So right now we've got our home page here and we've got three different sections and you can see them all right here. And I want to go ahead and use this icon stuff on another part of my website. So let's go ahead and export this as a block so that we can use it on another page. So the icon part right here is the services. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and delete the other two sections from the actual page. From there I have just this left. Let's go ahead to templates and we're going to hit save. Let's name this custom icon block. All right. So if you're going to use this on the same site, you can save it to your library right here. When it's at, when you go ahead and click that, you can save it as a page or a block. I would always suggest saving it as a block because if you save it as a page and you go to import it into another page of your site that already has content and you import it as a page, it's going to overwrite everything on that page and erase all of the work that you've done. If you import it as a block, it just adds it to the bottom and you can go ahead and click and drag it into the section that you want it to be. So I would always store it as a block. If you're going to use it on another website, so maybe you're going to sell templates or you're going to um, store it into a file of library te templates that you have on your computer, you can hit save and download. And it's going to go ahead and save it into your download section, wherever that may be on your computer. And then you can go ahead and import it into the other site. It's going to be a .csl. It's a, a .cornerstone library is what I'm thinking that it's called. So that's it. That's the only way you're going to be able to import it into another site is if you actually download it. So let's go ahead and refresh this and not save. Because if you save, then it's going to go ahead and just delete all of the other elements that you have on this that you had and I want to go ahead and keep those so let's go ahead and refresh and we're good to go let's go ahead and navigate to another page and let's import it into a page that already has content such as financing so we have it right here let's go ahead and import this template that we have saved right here now we can go ahead and import it as a my block and then hit insert and that's going to go ahead and import all the same elements, images, and things of that nature to that page. And from there, you can go ahead and click and drag it wherever you may want it to be on that page. If you would like to import it into another website, so let's just say that we're on another website, we can go to Templates and hit Upload. And then we go ahead and choose the file. We have it right here, and it's going to add it to the layout. And we're going to always do this as a block unless you want everything else to be erased. And it's right there. So that's two different ways that you can import and export templates from your website to another page on your website or to a completely different website. Now remember, when you export images inside of a template to another website, those images are referenced and not actually downloaded. So make sure that you upload the images to the new website so that you're not having broken links whenever the website goes down or the other one is live. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys at the next one.